two hard coat polystyrene. There are various methods. A cheap method is to use waterproof PVA and dry sand. Let's do one layer here. You can apply it with a brush or roller. The other method was to make, um, it's like doing paper mache, but use waterproof PVA and either use um, paper or like a polyester fabric, like a netting type fabric, um, which makes like a, I think in America they call it a uh, poor man's fiberglass. I've tried it on another bottle, um, sculpture. And it worked very well. Interesting to see how many years it survives. Okay, so that's just one part of it. Yeah, so I think I've got a even coverage. I'll just get one layer on. Right, just sprinkle it on. Okay. Try and do one face at a time, so don't try and do the sides. If you do the sides, the uh, PVA tends to um, drip. So try and keep all the sides that you're going to do. Right, if you pull that off. Okay, you see where it only sticks pretty much. Now if you wanted to, um, you could so mix the sand with the PVA and apply it that way but you too you do tend to get a um like the brush marks just get this applied uneven surfaces I just prefer to use the uh the brush Not trying to do the whole thing in one go you can come back you know it, it takes a little bit of time you, you've got to wait for everything to dry off before layers so let's just try this bit doesn't matter if you miss a few bits you can always go back over it can't you and the more layers of sand and waterproof pva it's got to be waterproof pva otherwise it doesn't work and dry sand again if you use wet sand um, it doesn't seem to bond so well okay now you do that three layers makes a very hard service indeed i'm doing this in my scruffy garage in the middle of winter so it's quite cold actually not too cold especially if you've got a, a nice glass of wine hiding in the corner I did a cube, a polystyrene cube, um, for the garden. Slightly random, but it it's lasted well over ten years. It's very useful as a uh, like a stool or something to stand on if you wanted to get to like a, a miniature one-step ladder. All right. What do you think of that? Whoa. It didn't fall over. Ah, 
now and I think my fingers, look. Oh. Wait, if I got, I didn't just glue that bit. Trying to rush things for getting on video, not such a good idea. I should take my time, otherwise, I will regret it. You're thinking, what the hell has he carved? Well, it's just an abstract like, sculpture for the garden, hopefully. My missus thinks he's a crap. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey -ho. I enjoy making them. I'll actually try something, um, do like, I don't know, like a wall sculpture like uh, the Green Man. I thought it might be quite cool to make. I've got some reference. For the green man somewhere. When you're making sculptures you want to use some kind of reference. You don't want to be doing straight blind, you end up carving away and it not working. Even if you end up with a sculpture being completely different. Right, this is kiln dried Paving sand, beautiful quality, very fine grade, nice and dry. Right. You make a few layers of that. All right. It's not dripping, that's strange. Usually it drips when I curse. Let's try it vertically. Let's see if it works the way that I say not to do it. I think possibly if I, I can't really see it, can you? I have to try my right hand. I'm not very good with my right hand. The lighting is not very good either. Sorry about that. I should have set better lighting up, but. Never mind. That was perfect. Let's just see. How was that? And it's old glue. Ugh. Right. Oh, I feel really weird using my right hand. Being left handed. Some people can use their um, left-handed people sometimes use their right hand quite well. Some of them. There we go. Let's see what. You can tell where you've been, because if the sand doesn't stick, you know you haven't put the glue there. Yeah? <laughs> 